Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. This is Deadly. Today I'm going to be talking about probably one of the most asked questions in my YouTube comments and on Twitch, which is where do I find all of my players to do PvP, friendly encounters with, the groups, all that sort of stuff. How do I find so many players during my play session? Daisy is a game that is very dependent on the player base. The players essentially came up with the bandit, hero, survival sort of meta, and it's expanded since the mod. Um, there is no rules. It is an open world. There are uh, preset looting, uh, zombies, and small dynamic events that happen throughout the world, but everything else is up to the players. So obviously, when it comes to DayZ, trying to roam around and find people for hours is probably one of the most time consuming things to do in the game. Essentially, that's why the game is often called a running sim. You're most likely running from town to town looking for players to rob, assist, or just meet. And that can be difficult. Now where the players like to go largely depends on what server you're playing on. For example, if you're playing on Bambi land, you're most likely only going to find people in Berezino because that is a PvP server. Uh, if you're playing on Gents of Novo, you're going to be seeing a lot more players in the city of Novo because of the neutral status of that town on that particular server. If you're playing on Daisy Underground, you're going to be finding players around the faction territories and trading outposts that are scattered around the map. If you're going to be playing on a public hive, you'll likely find most of your player base around the coast or in military bases. And if you're playing on a regular private hive, you're most likely going to be finding players uh, at the military camp scattered throughout the entire map. It is largely dependent on the server and the community that which, in which you play. So the first thing you need to do is know what server you're playing on or choose a private hive that you like. Go to their community forums, websites, or subreddits and get to know where players are going on that server. Now while you're playing on your server, you're going to want to look for a very valuable asset, which is the radio. The radio and battery, while being used on 87.8 FM, is probably the easiest way to communicate with other random survivors in the world. Um, for the longest time, the radio has been in the game, but it has never worked as well as it does now. Uh, and the radius is currently the entire map as of Daisy.62 because the military radio is currently not in the game. But I assure you, when the military radio is added, the radius on the walkie-talkie will be reduced. So just keep that in mind uh, in the future when things change, or if you're watching this video way down the road and the radios are already in, just disregard that comment. The radios are being used a lot more now, and I feel like that is something to do with the amount of content creators and streamers that are starting to use the radio. The more people that are on it, the more it becomes the meta, essentially, and, and well-known and well-accepted, and people are going to be starting to use it. On Daisy Underground, there is always somebody on the radio, pretty much constantly, so it's a really easy way to communicate with other survivors and find some new people. Alright, now that we got the server specific stuff out of the way, let's talk about things that are going to be affecting almost everybody. When people spawn, they're going to be on the eastern coast or the southern coast, and the most popular areas are Kamishovo and Solaninchi. Um, all the way up also to Berezino, I suppose, because you're going to be getting these very active looting villages where players like to move into, like for example, Kamishovo, Mista, and Storoy. Storoy being one of the largest Bambi hotspots uh, for new players that are collecting supplies. Um, there is a lot of different coastal villages that all lead to Storoy, and Storoy also has a pretty decent military camp that is right next to the town. A lot of players go to Storoy, and it's probably, it's it's honestly the new Electro, basically. So if you're interested in getting that Electro-style classic PvP, it's not in Electro anymore, it's in Storoy, so start getting used to that area. Gorka and uh, Dubrovka and the Dubrovka checkpoint are very popular as well, because Berezino is a very large spot, 
anybody that's spawning from Barazino down to Solonichi is most likely going to be going to Gorka at some point. It's got a police station, it's a well-known village, there's lots of videos on it. Uh, people expect to run into other survivors when you're traveling inland to Gorka. So that is another hot spot for players to be going to. Um, now, Steroy and Gorka both lead to one place, and that is Novi Sobor which is honestly probably the prime PvP real estate and the PvP hub currently in Daisy.62. That and its, and its partner town, Starry, because of the Starry military tents, the entire area has been essentially handcrafted for PvP in mind. Um, so just keep that in mind. If you want to find that military grade PVP, that higher tiered PVP, you are actually going to be finding that more in Novi and Starry than you will anywhere else on the map. Now, obviously all of the military bases like VMC, PMC, Northwest Airfield, Tizzy, um, Nagorno, uh, or sorry, Commence Military, all of the military zones on private servers are going to have people occasionally in those areas because military loot on those servers needs needs to be collected from the military camps. So it doesn't matter um, how remote of a military area you go to, the likeliness of you running into somebody if you stick around in an area for about 30 minutes is pretty high. Um, it's not as often as you would find players in Novi and Starry, but if you hang around the Northwest Airfield long enough, you're going to be hearing some gunshots. Now, speaking of gunshots, if you watch a lot of my PvP videos, you will often hear me use the term baiting. Baiting in Daisy uh, is a term that is used to describe players that purposely shoot their weapons into the air to bait in other players uh, towards their location. People are usually starving for encounters. So if there's a large gunfight cracking off, typically the entire region is going to start to move towards that action slowly, but over time it will draw people in. So what some bandit groups do is purposely mimic firefights in towns like Novi to draw people in and, and go after those guys. It's a, it's a common thing. So it's important to be understanding about that and whenever you're running directly towards gunshots, always be aware that you're running directly into a trap because it happens all too often. Especially on first and third servers. People like to shoot off rounds and then camp the double greens and double reds or the police stations uh, and just wait for players to walk into their line of sight. They crouch up, take the shot, crouch down. It's like you were never there. Now. If you're really starving for action, start live streaming and give out your server IP to all the people that are in the chat and start taunting them saying, let's go, come and try to kill me. Um, but in all seriousness, that is also something that needs to be taken into consideration. Um, at any one time, there is most likely at least two or three players that are on the server that are actively watching the broadcast and trying to kill me on that broadcast. Um, or purposely trying to meet me in the world. Uh, you'll see an example of this here. So players like that have come, so players like that often come running towards my location just to get a little bit of screen time. Uh, they're usually never this friendly or they don't want to really kill me. Uh, some of them like to gear dump, basically just running towards me expecting to die just to get a little bit of time on the stream. But other times they're actively trying to prove a point uh, and kill me using the broadcast. And sometimes that ends up entering into my PvP videos because it's a good encounter. I successfully killed another squad and therefore I'm going to be throwing that up there. Um, I guess a little bit more salt in the wound because it's extremely easy to kill somebody if you know their every movement. So to kill those players is an additional sort of satisfaction that I have. But that also contributes to the amount of player encounters I get on a regular basis. So I just wanted to mention that because it is something that some of you guys may not have to experience and therefore you may not see as many players. So those are my tips to help you guys find some additional players while roaming around Chinaris. I uh, hope you guys find this video useful. If you have anything you'd like to contribute to the discussion, let me know in the comment section below and upvote any helpful comments so some new players will have the opportunity to read your strategies for finding players in day Z. 
All right, so this is specifically for my regular viewers here on YouTube and on the Twitch channel. I will not be streaming July 21st, 22nd, or 23rd. I will be back Monday the 24th. I'm gonna be taking a couple days off, but the videos will be still live. So even though I'm not streaming, the content will be still going live at my regular streaming time. So expect a YouTube video 8.30 a.m. tomorrow as well. Um, have yourselves a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you guys on Monday and in the next Daisy video here on YouTube.